AG Labs, my name is Ben. Good morning, hello, welcome to the Micro Soldering Show. Today, on a beautiful Friday, right before weekend, full of um, board level repair school. So, the upcoming weekend, we have the next date board level repair school extended one module. We have three students coming for learning not the secrets of micro soldering, but how to diagnose folds, how to find folds faster, how to improve the soldering skills, and um, how to do the iPhone X. So this is a thing which uh, we, will, we will do at the extension module at the Water Level Repair School Germany. So I think we will have a lot of fun with the students at weekend and I hope they can learn a lot of new things um, straight out of our team. So today in the morning we just start by an iPhone 7 which was mailed in because it has problems with the signal. So let's see if we can fix that or not. I just have to get my screwdrivers and I have to turn on the dust absorber. One second. Okay. By the way, we need to to do something in the shop, so I think within the next weeks we will just get one time completely clean. Normally we want to move the place within this year, but we are waiting for the seller of the new building. And he has to, to find a new building so he can sell us the old building. So we need to wait some more month. And because of that, we just need to clean up one time all the areas here to use some new paint and just bring some new, some new, um, some new style in here. Okay, we just open the device. On hands and main cam on. Main cam on, on hands on. And okay. This should be good. Open the device. Okay, somebody already was on. No, it's a China a China refurbished device. So be aware of Corona. That was not a joke. Don't understand it wrong. So at the moment you really have to, to take care. Okay, somebody just used just used to some guarantee seals you see this often on Chinese refurbished devices A screwdriver and open up all the screws For that I just want to check one time if we got an EMI or not because I didn't prove the phone until now. I just saw it laying on my table for fix. So let's see. Do we have a code for the phone? We don't have a code for the phone, that's bad. How can I test the phone without having the, the code? That's not possible. Oh, okay. Okay, we don't see an EMI. We only see the serial. Okay, in, in this way we, we, can't, we can't activate the phone and we don't find a signal. So 
if it's a shiner refurbished device, often it's a Qualcomm board. So I have to open the door, sorry. Every time I do this. Sorry, here I am again. Okay, so we take the screws here, get it there. And just take all the screws out and all the cables off. Sim tray out. Screws out. And after that, we can take out the board. Somebody already was working on that. Yeah, somebody was already working on that. Okay. Get out the sticker. And if you see something like this, it's just great because <coughs> you know that this can be a really fast job. Because we have here a Qualcomm board yeah we have and if we have a Qualcomm board it's not a big problem to fix okay somebody was already doing the audio I see I think let's see somebody doing already the audio I see yes no jumpers but you see some flux under Homer and some flux under the audio I see so somebody was already on that board and I see some flux under the Qualcomm chip but this can't work if you don't set the jumpers so I don't prove anything now. I don't do any measurements. I don't check voltages. I don't do any diet mode because it's a Qualcomm board. And if it's a Qualcomm board, it's normally just a small problem. Just getting in some flux and taking out the Qualcomm power management IC for the baseband. that chip getting in some flux and clean the board by using the wick and some solder paste
done. After that, just take the brush and some contact cleaner, clean it one time. Here it is, the baseband EPRO. And after that we can set the jumper. So we just need to get some solder on here. And jump a wire. My tweezers are almost broken. Yeah, the solder just doesn't want to stick, you see? It's bad solder. Okay, we need some wick. Get the bad solder away. And we get some new one. I hope this looks better. Much better. Now we set the jumper over for pads, for crown pads. Why we set a crown jumper? A lot of people wanted to know. I did this video two or three times already, and a lot of people wanted to know why do we set a crown jumper? The problem is that ground in the chip itself needs connection and it loses connection so we need to jump a ground on them four pads so the chip can work correctly just some solder mask on it UV glue UV solder mask then we need a knife I only have to renew my my plate. I don't know where new blades are. I have to ask Andy if he comes later. That looks pretty okay. just use a wipe for cleaning the board completely ok 
take away things like this. Here we can see some door two. Just take it away. See that there is some old solder sticking in here. Okay, good. Now we just take a picture. And normally I use a new chip, but I don't ha have new chips anymore here. So we use the old chip and reball it. Because I think, like it looks, they had already renewed the chip before and wondered why it just doesn't work. But you have to set the jumpers for a working device. So now I just have to take a look what right position. Yeah. Should look like this, okay. Taking a little bit of solder paste. One eighty three, getting in the solar paste into the stencil and do a reball. And you see, I just push push down because we had already solar on the chip that's just what I wanted and now I do it in that way so I don't need to clean up the chip before so that was just what I wanted to do but don't push hard because otherwise the chip can crack Okay, come out, chip. See, it sticks, just wasn't doesn't want to lose. Out. Man, what the heck? It just sticks like hell. Was the old flux which was sticking so hard? Just a new flux on it. And done. Looks pretty okay, I think.
push push and you see it looks looks all good some dirt here but not a problem yeah we can use that okay now we just need to get the chip in again Getting in some flux. Exactly like this. Done. Okay. Looks good. Clean. time again later I just have to fill off my flux cleaner okay we are done now we need to do restore and after that the phone should work in a full way again so I will clean that later and we'll get on the stickers later but first I want to try. So, okay, okay, okay. Getting in the screen, battery, booting up the device. having a look if we need an update or a restore normally yes we need yeah we need to do And now we just need to update the device and it will work fine again. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I don't think that we should wait now for the update or for the restore because it takes a lot of time again and that doesn't make any sense. It's just a little solution. If you got a no signal problem and it's showing no EMI on the iPhone 7 Qualcomm, 99% of the cases it, it's just taking out the Qualcomm power management I see doing one jumper over the four pads, a ground jumper and normally replace the IC. I don't have a new IC here and this IC was already replaced before so I just used it again. Normally just take a new one replace it and it will work in 99% of the cases otherwise you have to check for the LDOs um, and the uh, for the voltages on the LDOs um, and to do diet mode but for me it's just time wasting because on 9 of 10 devices Qualcomm it's just a ground jumper under the Qualcomm power management IC for the baseband CPU so I need to wait some more minutes now and after that I will post the result 
of this repair on Instagram. I only will get up the video if it was successful. Like always, you know about that. If you want to learn things like that easily, you can do that at the Bottle Level Repair School Germany. And if you're working at the repair industry for smartphones and tablets, you can just join our Facebook group, Smartphone Repair Group Germany. I would be happy to see you there, but please answer the questions, otherwise we can't accept you. I'm out. By the way, order your ICC Pro. It's just an amazing tool, which every technician in the whole world needs. I'm out. We'll see us with the next video. Boom, back to life again. Here's Ben. By the way, normally I don't do any cuts uh, in any videos, you know that, but because I just finished that device and I had to to do um, to do the update on iTunes and I don't want to waste time, um, I just um, just ended up the video before showing you that um, after the replacement of the or after the the crown jumper and the reball of the core compartment management uh, for the baseband PMU, uh, for the baseband CPU that all works again. Here you can see we have now an EMI again, and it's the serial which I showed you before at the start of the video, so you can compare. This is the serial, and here we got EMI again. Before we only had the serial and no EMI, so now the phone is fully working again. So I'm out. Boom, back to life again. Here's Ben.